Hey guys, Gaijin Hunter here. Now, I just realized that I really don't make a lot of videos for those that are really new to Monster Hunter, so I thought I would take the opportunity to tell you guys about two very important items that you may not know about. So let's go to the shop and check them out. So very early in the game for low rank, your number one goal should be to buy these two items. They're over here back in the back. It's the power charm and the armor charm, and they're really expensive, but they're totally worth it. So just by having these in your inventory, in your item pouch, they actually increase your attack power and your defense power. So let's take a look. Um, right now I have 924 attack. So let's go purchase a power charm and see what happens. So luckily I have a lot of money because I'm far along in the game. Um, so where I had 924, I now look and I have 943. Now this might seem like a small jump, but especially earlier on in the game, these types of bonus increases are really big. The same goes for the armor charm. I had 658 defense, I now have 670. So these are really good, so if you're in low rank, make these a sort of mid-term goal for you to buy. Now once you bust into high rank, um, you actually have to go all the way up I think to uh, village 7 if you want to fight a devil joe. Or if you're at HR4 online, you can then join another person's room who's hosting an HR7 Double Joe hunt. Um, but once you get to Double Joe, you're going to be able to get his Talon. And what you want to do with those Talons, as you notice here, is you can combine a Double Joe Talon with a Charm to make a Talon. This would be your high rank secondary goal. Now granted you only need to make one of each because you can't have multiples of these in your inventory and get multiple boosts. So it's a one time deal so it's not bad. I always start a new Monster Hunter game and I call it the Race to Devil Joe because I always really want to get uh, the Power Charm and the Power Talon. And you can have all four in your inventory and you want to at all times. Now the Talons are very powerful. I just went from 943 to 973 attack and that is a big jump. And that's just for having an item in my inventory. It's a whole nother topic, but the amount that it goes up for each weapon is slightly different, but it, behind the scenes it's the same amount. And my defense just went from 670 to 688, so you can see that the armor talent is also really great to have. Now if you go into item sets and you register a set, you can make sure that you always have sets that have all four, both of the charms and both of the talents, and I highly suggest that you do. And on your race to get to the high rank Double Joe, I actually have a bit of advice for armor sets. So if you've just busted into high rank and you're looking for a good gameplay goal for yourself, I would say that the Double Gore set, which you're looking at now, is a really good goal. It looks really great and it has fabulous skills. So all it takes to make this thing is a mix between high rank and low rank of Gore Magala parts. You have the high rank head, arm, and legs in the low rank chest and waist. And it gives you challenger plus two, which although it says it greatly increases attack, that's an understatement. When a monster is enraged, it actually gives you attack up XL. And it also raises your affinity a little bit. Bio Researcher makes it so you don't get blast blight, which is nice. And sharpness plus one is the staple that you want to push your weapons that one step further. That's gonna make high rank a lot easier. You can see here, even with G rank, without sharpness plus one, weapons only have very little purple, if any. So it's a great skill. Now the only downfall to this set is its horrible fire resistance. It's negative 43. So if you're going up against Gravios, you're going to get hit hard. Um, but it's something to work around. I, I still think it's really great to get you through high rank. Um, water resistance is good. I guess that's nice. Um, and minus 15 uh, for Thunder is a little tough. but. Over than that, it's a really great set, and I highly recommend it. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoy Monster Hunter, and happy hunting.